almost there. Hey guys, welcome back to the Sense Pop channel for today's deck profile. We will be featuring a deck that went undefeated 4 0 and uh, featuring a rather interesting leader. Undefeated 4 0. Yes, the deck is not going to be from me. I have a special guest here who's going to share and talk about his deck with us. So let's not keep him waiting. Let's not keep you waiting. Let's see each other after the short intro, all right? Hey guys, welcome back from the intro. So we have a special guest here today. So uh, Diego, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people already know me, but uh, I'm Diego from Team FOA, um, also known as Andrea Diego on Facebook, uh, player from the Netherlands, uh, also post a lot of things on Facebook. <laughs> you do, you're, you're quite active in, in, in on Facebook. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So we came, so today when I woke up, I came across your deck and uh, it looks similar to something that I am viewing also, although um mine was on a very early stage but the idea is similar i think not similar i think we have just one two three kind of three cards that are similar so okay not a similar similar <laughs> deck all right so um do you want to talk about this deck itself okay maybe first let me explain to the leader what king vegeta does all right yeah. so king vegeta is a black leader uh, not a black leader a red leader and what he does is this very very interesting right because that's why i really wanted to play this uh, leader because it is very very interesting to me permanent you can't include non-saiyan cards uh, battle cards in your deck okay and the second thing is he has ac activate main so once per turn you get to choose one card from your life and add it into your hand so what do you get for that effect you get to look up to top five of your deck and choose up to one red or green saiyan or king dynasty uh king vegeta dynasty among them which is an extra card a few card and add it into your hands then shuffle your deck so you take a life you tutor top five for something then when um his awakened condition is very interesting though because when you have king vegeta dynasty in your battle area three or more cards in your energy you get to draw a card and then choose one of your energy and switch it to active mode on his awakened side oh i should not move this uh, choose one he has two ability you get to choose one both draws you a card the first one is uh, you may choose one red or green saiyan card from your hands with energy uh oh no this is the other one in your battle area and place it in your owner's drop and it, what do you get for doing that you get an extra 5k for your leader you draw one card you get an extra 5k and it becomes the leader becomes 20k double striker yep and uh, his second ability is this. You get to choose one battle card in your hands with energy two or less and play it with its skills negated. So it's a vanilla card that drops into the thing for the duration of the turn, then you draw one card. Both draws you one card, all right? So Diego, maybe a question to you. Why do you pick this leader? First of all, I really like um, yeah, some different decks that have a different archetype. Um, I really liked the King Vegeta Dynasty field card. It's something different, um, like the old Majin Buu hat with the sealed ball. Mm -hmm. um, I just like those kind of decks, and I, I thought it was really strong because you can cheat uh, pretty much 20k vanilla cards out without using energy, which is really good in this meta, where a lot of counterplays right. are happening. One of the things that, when I was viewing the deck, right, was I'm having problems with King Vegeta's dynasty. So I'm trying to understand what value does it gives me. And is it worth it to play four of? So, would you want to talk about King Vegeta's dynasty? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it depends. It's really hard sometimes. Um, if you're playing against a slow deck, uh, it's fine tapping out on turn two for King Vegeta's dynasty. It plays you a twin, uh, two or less Saiyan card with the skills negated and draws two cards. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also can be very clunky if you're playing with something like U6, uh, U6 Veggies. Mm -hmm. Uh, they go so aggro on you, you can't step out on turn two, so you need to wait another turn. But you only can awaken with this card on the field, so it, yep. it's, it's very balanced. And uh, But yeah, the most benefit I have uh, with the field card is just having a negate, always having a negate. Because a lot of mm -hmm. people forget that it also acts as a negate when you tap on red energy. Yep, it adds as a negate. 
but um, it. So you pay one red. So you pay one red, then uh, discard the card. Discard King v- King's Vegeta Dynasty, and then you negate the attack. Exactly. How good is this effect? Against Toa, it was pretty good because uh, they are warping your cards, and you just don't want to use another negate uh, because it's not a minus one in your hand. Uh-huh, so I correct. always used my uh, field cards to negate the big mirror or the quit mirror, so I didn't I didn't need to lose more cards. And the field card doesn't do uh, anything after you played it on turn two, drawing two cards. It's just a free negate. It doesn't have any other effect. Um, mm-hmm. whatsoever if you played it it's just need for self-awakening so I liked the fact that it's just a free negate and you can always negate it even if you don't have one alright but when it comes to your King Vegeta's effect you don't have a lot of uh, cards that make use of that um, make use of it ain't it because the, okay 20, 20k so you mean you have you have uh, done the scale but yeah. Kale comes out when uh, Khalifla is free. It's on the board, anyways. And then you have Super Saiyan Son Goku. So uh, the the bold Super Saiyan Two uh, Khalifla is. I see it's wrong in the diff in the deck build. It should be the the green Khalifla. The um, ah okay. The 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 ambition. Life. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I will put that in the I will put that in the um in the uh, video. I will just change exactly. it. You have super impulse on it. Okay, so you have that. Oh, you can cheat out a twenty k, and then you don't take a life, and it protects the board. Yeah, the, the the best play you can do with this deck is mm-hmm. um, I normally do it on turn three because some decks can uh, steal cards like Toa, mm-hmm. but you can do some cute plays on turn three, and you play the uh, two drop uh, Khalifla for free. Um, mm-hmm. Play the Dauntless Scale Blocker for free. Uh, you can swing with the 20k and then uh, Union Potara into Kefla on turn 3 and that draws, draws you another 3 cards. Wow, actually it's true, yeah? So you can... <laughs> so you could... Because you could cheat out, you already draw a card. Exactly. Then you... Um, so you have a 20k uh, guy on the board which you can swing because Union Potara comes in active. So you can swing with the 20k. Then you Union Pot- you can play Dunless Kill for free. Union Potara into Kefla, draw a card, swing again, draw a card, swing again, draw a card. Exactly. That that's wow. the that's the best play you can uh, you can do with it, and it's very good against certain decks. Against Toa, um, I just tap out for the Kefla play, even if I know uh, the big mirror is coming and I, lo- I lost the dice. But drawing three cards is so strong against Toa because you know you have to warp three cards the next turn. Yep. So I just tap out for the Kefla. Um, most likely, I always I'm only attacking once. Um, so I, I probably give them the option. So you can choose to play uh, Dimensional Balance of Foon, getting rid of my uh, Kefla, and you need to tap out for it if you want to do the mirror play. Or otherwise, Kefla stays, and I'm drawing back into cards next turn. Oh yeah, true. So you put it right out there for them to choose, but exactly. they can swing into Kefla. So you are not gonna uh, put it into rest mode, right? Because the oh, big I'm only guy attacking comes... once. If I know okay. the big mirror player is coming, mm-hmm. I'm attacking once, and yep. uh, I'm pretty much saying, okay, you need to tap out for it. Otherwise, I'm going to back uh, draw back into cards. What about the rest of the cards over here? Um, yeah, I the I built this deck mainly. Um, because um, for the counterplays that we are facing at this moment is matter. Um, everyone is leaving energy open for counterplays. Mm-hmm. And the thing I like about King Vegeta is even if Kefla uh, isn't live or you don't have it, you can just cheat out attackers while having all your energy open for counterplays for Vegeta the Cruel or uh, Mach Speed K Kenson Goku. Okay. Um, so you don't have to use any energy which protects you the next turns for other plays from your opponent. Alright, so the whole idea here is to use Vegeta. You still get to draw cards, you cheat out the cards, leave your energy open, counterplay, put in more battle cards. So, wow, okay, okay, okay. I like the idea, actually. So, it's a very fun deck to play, ain't it? So, do you want to talk about your card choice between uh, Demon Broly uh, Demonic Origin, Vegeta the Cruel, and Kaioken, uh, Sangoku, Max Speed. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, the Broly is a is a staple in fourth because uh, it's the perfect energy 
<laughs> you, you just want to, <laughs> if you can choose just... you want to have four brolies in your energy the first four turns it's just mm. perfect because uh, it's red and green it's everything you need mm -hmm. it also uh, makes vegeta and the goku two drops on counterplay uh, i must say the mock speed wasn't really that good because it, yeah that minus is 10 and minus is five but it was very situational the best play i could do is uh, the deflect mira the five drop I just played the mark speed to give it minus 15, so they can't attack with it uh, before they go to the big mirror. Uh, but Vegeta the crew okay. is, is mostly the best option because it KOs something and warps a card. Mm -hmm. So this is also a two drop that you can counter play. Then Vegeta the crew. Vegeta the crew. It's a pretty good card, ain't it? Yeah, it's, I think it's one of the best cards in the set, along with Denial of Hope, which is also really good. Wow, but that card is so good. Vegeta the Cruel is, is really good. Warping a card is it's just, you just lose a card to uh, KO something from them, but they are losing a card as well, so you don't minus really. So yeah. that's really good. Alright, what about... Um, so you have Bard of the Awaken, we, we know what it does, the card is so good, it's free, basically. Yeah. And then you get to draw two. That's just another 20k beat up um, um, in this deck. It's just free, you just want free attackers that draw you a card. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I liked the Bardock uh, Awakened Instinct because um, you're most likely going to draw a second King Vegeta's Dynasty or even a third one and you can pitch it with Bardock so you don't have it in your hand or it becomes clunky. Oh yeah, so you can send it away. Like, yeah, exactly. All right. A question, um, the SSB Golgata. You, you play two of um, the Resonant Explosion, the ones that comes in with a rival, red and green. Um, yeah, the reason uh, I really like the card because it's a, a Sugar's Explosive Kit uh, so Goku effect, and um, if people don't expect it, you can win. Uh, <laughs> you can win on your opponent's turn when they drop hand on a um, <laughs> KOLS. Oh yeah, uh, true. The problem with this deck though is that you have a lot of. Um, uh, cards that you can't combo, like uh, Bro Broly Demonic Origins, uh, it's a zero uh, of a one plus 10k. Mm -hmm. You have your King Vegeta's Dynasties, other extra cards, Kefla, and SSB Gogeta, and the Secret Rare. So I just wanted to uh -huh. get some cards uh, regarding the uh, one plus 10ks for combo power. That's the main but reason I'm only playing two. A question when it comes to said arrival, red and green, you need two cards, even though if you play a multi color cards, right? What you can do is uh, you can combo Broly the, uh, the best. Uh, what you can do is combo two of them. So you co oh, well, sorry one. So you combo one SSB Gogeta mm -hmm. that checks the requirement of a red and green card, and then you can pay one red energy for to to play another uh, SSB okay. Gogeta. So you can you can have just one, which is either like uh, they are both multicolored red and green, satisfied exactly. arrival. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, tap one is like tap two for a Sugesh Kid Goku. Exactly, indeed. Or you can use a, a, pseudo, a super combo with um, Vegeta the Cruel on board or something like that if you don't want to use it the next turn and then can cheat him out. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Actually, this deck looks really, really interesting. So, guys, once again, if you're still with us on this video, uh, both Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, it's the green Khalifla, so I'm gonna make some changes to that, yeah? I, already, okay. uh, I changed it in the deck, so uh, we can put the deck list on uh, in the description below and they will see the, the correct Khalifa. Maybe I'll just do a refresh. Maybe it will work. Bam! Okay, got this. Alright, so, um, a question. Maybe... Want to explain your sideboard? Yeah, I, I must say, sideboard was done really quickly. Um, it's really, <laughs> it's really difficult to sideboard with this leader because you can only be, uh, include same cards, mm -hmm. uh, so you you don't have your normal Haru Haru Tien cards. So you need to make uh, make some changes. <laughs> um, oh yeah, true. I just, yeah. I just added in some cards I thought I needed. Um, one of the most difficult matches is your number because you draw mm -hmm. a lot of cards as well, and twenty k. Is, yeah, isn't just enough against the number because they have so much super combos to go, combo out of it and they yeah. also have some Goku's striving to be the best so that's why I decided to um, cite the green uh, two drops from Goku from the anniversary box because when you combo okay. with it or you play it you can destroy the striving to be the best or another uh, barrier card that's on field mm -hmm. 
because we can't use Krillin. Exactly. So that, <laughs> that's that's your only choice: getting rid of barrier cards for free or less. Um, the Raditz. I can there, see that you do focus quite a bit on heating cards that are in active mode. Exactly, because you don't have. Um, a lot of removal regarding barrier. Um, you, you just have your negates, counters to remove such things. But let's say you're playing against Luck or something like that. Um, yeah, you, you just can't get rid of wings. That's why I decided to um, cite some cards against barrier cards or to act uh, to um, attack cards in active mode. All right, sounds good. But it looks really good, though, Diego. So it it looks really really fun. I think you have something really really fun here. And I like your whole idea that you are keeping energy open for counterplay. So you're cheating things out during your turn, and then you counterplay them. Uh, this whole deck works on counterplaying, and then you finish them uh, just like that. That's really the, really the, cool idea. The best finisher is uh, is a secret where it's it's easy to find in this deck, and uh, because, because you're okay. always searching top five yeah. and. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I must say, I think I at least 50% of my matches I won uh, regarding the secret rare. Just uh, attacking and going all out with the secret rare on arrival. Yep, so the arrival, so he has five and it, five, uh, it has five cards when he plays this card, you choose one, then do two damage to your opponent, just like that. <laughs> right? Cool, that sounds really, really cool. Awesome, awesome. So, um, Diego, any last word to our audience before we finish this video? Um, yeah, people need to just test uh, test the set seven. Uh, just play what you like because um, I think this matter is really good. Um, not everything's playable, but um, I think most things are. Um, that's just as you uh, prepare for for the most played decks at your local. Yeah. Um, so I think what I like is, uh, yeah. it's really fun. What I like about this set is that it it brings back uh, it brings in several other type of win condition though. Now uh, with this deck, there's a possibility that you get burned. Yeah. Zamasu don't get into eight energy. Then you have uh, so so they're pretty pretty interesting. Exactly, a lot of yeah. a lot of fun decks to play. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. So, um, guys, if you have any comments on this deck, uh, share just uh, write down in the comment section. The deck profile will be featured in the uh, in the description. Again, um, if you guys want to get in contact with me, just send me a private message via Instagram. Follow me there. And uh, before we end the video, Diego, thank you so much for joining us in this video. Probably. And yeah, my pleasure. And uh, guys, see you. I hope you enjoyed the deck profile here. It's a really interesting one. And guys, see you guys in the next video. All right. Ciao.